hey guys welcome back to planes over it uh, i know it's been really long that i've uploaded a video was busy with some commitments at home anyway we will continue with our a320 series and uh, the disclaimer remains the same do not use any of this information in practical application that you learn here all right so today we're going to do fma autopilot and flight directors so fma let's start off with fma fma is flight mode initiator and it's on the top of the pft each pft and it is perhaps the most important for an Airbus pilot and it is in fact under golden rules as well. Read the FMA at all times. So it is above the PFT, shows the statuses of the various modes. There are five modes in this, five uh, parts. Thrust, vertical segment, lateral segment, approach capabilities and uh, minimums, autopilot, flight directors, auto thrust, engagement status. So what it does is it is giving you live status of the aircraft. What mode is the aircraft in and that's really important for you to interpret what the aircraft is doing all right so vertical is with your respect to your height heading navigation is with your lateral thrust is with your speed whether it's manual or the you know if it is maintaining speed mode and uh, these are auto thrust is active or not fts or autopilot which is aut which autopilot is engaged so on cat 3 dual cat 1 cat 2 all of this comes here minimums whatever you have set in the fmgs will show up here all right now fma there are three segments as you can see one first line second line and third line so we'll talk about them if it is green it is engaged and that is what is active okay blue means armed that it is ready to be active or get get engaged so in this case glide slope is armed so if the glide slope signal is in the aircraft range it will get engaged interesting exception is auto thrust when active or engaged is white as you could see in the previous slide here this means it is active okay next up is the third line is reminders or any messages that has to be given to the pilot check approach select you know different different sort of reminders or messages will come in the third line now important thing about this one is fma is after each mode change if there is any change suppose it is changed from heading to track the fma will display a white box around the new annunciation for around about 10 seconds so that the pilot knows that something has changed that the aircraft is doing all right so that's all about fma you have to know uh, you will learn it more with the experience let's talk about autopilot autopilot uh, there are two switches in the fcu panel on the top so what does the autopilot do? It stabilizes the aircraft around the center of gravity, acquires and tracks flight path, flies the aircraft to an automatic landing or a go around. So these are the basic definitions of autopilot, what it does is. Autopilot commands the position of flight control surfaces for pitch, roll and yaw. So all your rudder, ailerons, you know, elevators and all the surfaces that are there, uh, including the spoilers, everything is controlled by the autopilot when active. It also uh, caters for nose wheel position. So suppose you're doing an automatic landing, it will also cater to maintain center line. Now the flight crew can engage autopilot one or autopilot two by pressing the corresponding push button on the FCU. Now important point is it will get engaged only it has been airborne for five seconds or it is above 100 feet. It cannot be engaged below 100 feet. Another important point Two autopilots may be engaged only during your approach, okay? And uh, generally, it is only one autopilot can be engaged at all time in all other cases, at a time at, in all other cases. So only during approach when your glide slope, localizer, or the other modes, go around mode is armed or engaged, only then is, is the time when you can actually use two autopilots together. How do you disengage autopilot? Very important, very, very important things to know the the standard way is to do it from the takeover push button on the side stick okay you can also press the push button on fcu but what will happen is it will give a permanent warning and there will be permanent visual and audio warnings that you have disengaged it from the wrong wrong method all right any movement of flight control such as side stick rudder pedal pitch stream will beyond a certain threshold suppose you happen to kick the rudder the autopilot will get disengaged if the thrust levers are set above the MCT detents or set to idle, even then your autopilot will disconnect. Autopilot disengages itself when it finds the aircraft to be outside the normal flight envelope. 
okay so what will happen is if your autopilot is outside your normal flight envelope it will actually say all right you need to fly now i'm not going to do it so it will disconnect itself okay so that's all about autopilot basics let's talk about flight directors now flight directors are located on the fcu as you can see here these are the buttons here and uh, this is the fd switch so fd flight director displays guidance commands from the fmgc on the pfd it uses their respective fmg so F fd1 on the left side will use fmgc1 fd2 will use the fmgc2 though both of them are talking to each other continuously verifying their outputs and inputs now there are three uh, various uh, topics that i would talk about fds here fd bars heading versus select uh, heading uh, vertical speed selected on the fcu so if you select that here right here if you select this one this toggle switch here small one if it is heading in vertical speed there's a pitch bar and there's a roll bar so pitch bar will display in vertical mode is engaged it gives pitch orders so this one is your pitch bar and this one is your roll bar is to it will give you lateral mode and roll orders so if you have a roll order turn right so this one this pitch bar uh, this roll bar will move to the right and this pitch bar in case if you have to climb or descend this will go up and down so the idea is to keep this box in the center okay both the needles should be in a cross in this box yellow colored all right next up is the most uh, you know interesting uh, perhaps not everyone really likes it but then it's one of the easiest methods to fly it's called the flight path vector along with the flight path director so flight path director will come up when your track fpa is selected on the fcu when you toggle it again it goes to track fpa method so this is a alternate way of transmitting flight director commands so actually when you go to track fpa this bird comes on so bird is giving you actual position that you that the aircraft is the flight path vector symbol illustrates the track and the flight path actually been flown this one what does the flight path director do shows the flight crew how to intercept the required vertical and lateral trajectory when the flight crew superimposes the fpv and the fpd simple the aircraft is flying the required trajectory so now suppose here you see it is asking us to move left so you will just turn left and it, if you imp superimpose it both if you get this fpd into the fpv you will be flying the required trajectory all right the last one uh, that we have, to, we have to talk about is the yaw bar so the yaw bar is displayed in runway mode on takeoff and in flare and roll out modes at landing so what it does is it gives you the center runway center line so there is no fd bar there is no track fpa if you are on the runway if you are landing this yaw bar will come and the uh, actually the runway needs to have an ils signal for this to work so this will come up here and you can maintain the runway center line using this yaw bar last one uh, this one we talking about from the fma point of view engagement on the fpfd via the fma can be known as follows x fdy is what happens so x can x and y can be 1 2 or dash 1 fd dash means only fd1 is engaged dash fd2 means only fd2 is engaged 1 fd2 means both fd1 and fd2 are engaged uh, naturally it's obvious that we have to fly 1 fd2 never ever fly dash fd2 or 1 fd dash okay fds are something that has to be done together on both the pfd so it has to be naturally 1 fd2 only in you know emergency cases where the fd has failed or something then you may use dash fd2 on the fma on the right top corner in the fifth column of the fma all right i think we're done for today's video and uh, stay tuned in for uh, the next video that's going to come up i think we're going to continue with the left Uh, auto thrust in order flight and uh, thanks for watching guys subscribe to the youtube channel like the facebook page for regular updates give the video a thumbs up if you like the video do not forget to share it to comment below if you have any doubts and uh, guess what now planes over it is on whatsapp as well the number is on your screen uh, you can always email me at planes over it at hotmail.com or planes ohead at icloud.com and uh, also uh, there's a quiz in the description below so just have a look at that as well take care guys see ya cheers and happy landings bye bye